Remember to use the code SICKFITS for 20% off your quarantine. Spatulation, sizeless Farmulus. It seems to be that time of the week where I have completely ran out of ideas, so hashtag sick fits. But wait, don't you normally do sick fits at the start of the month? Don't be so foolish. This is hashtag sick fits, where we basically go through the sick fits Instagram page and make a whole video out of that. Hashtag sick fits, the 10 minute power hour where I dive into the Instagram page and pick some of my favorite outfits that I've used the hashtag sick fits. Will all of that meta to cannon out of the way, let's just jump into the first outfit of the day. Jumper from Rouge. Rings from Vitality. And we have these beige baggy trousers and some unknown footwear. Balenciagas, maybe? The first thing that I like about this outfit is the jumper. I love the color of it. It just pops. And in more recent times, I've been finding that there's a trend of just putting large faces on knitwear jumpers. Should have put that in the predictions video. But here it is. I like the low-key quirkiness of the knit. I'm quite liking the cut of it as well because it seems quite cropped. But at the same time, it's got like a really nice boxy fit to it and I just really like how they're paired with these beige trousers like baggy boys for life and all of that but because the top half is cropped it makes the trousers look really elongated and low-key giving the illusion of adding inches to your height. I thought I was gonna say something else then didn't ya? And of course the shoes just really round off the somewhat normcore aesthetic to it. It's really stripped back there's not much going on it's not overloaded with pieces so to speak it's more here's the knit here's the trousers I make them complement each other really well therefore not much more is needed. There are some accessories as well, which I really quite like. It just enhances the outfit a little bit more, like boom, details. Altogether, a really nice outfit. I was gonna say thank you for sending in your fit, but I've basically just stalked the sick fits hashtag, so. Thank you for using the hashtag. Next outfit. So for the next outfit of the day, we've got this Argyle cardigan and these 70s looking business trousers. And of course, we've got the big off glasses as well and some accessories and a scarf to tie it in all together. Let's talk about this outfit. So the first thing that I like about this outfit is that it screams 70s. Like I don't want to say like vintage core or 70s core, but that's the only way I can describe this. The combination of the Argyle cardigan, I hope I'm saying that right and the trousers just really build up this picture of like I've raided my granddad's wardrobe but in a good way a stylish vintage aesthetic can go one of two ways it can completely work or you can just look like Austin Powers but I think this leans into the more okay this is stylish type B but in my opinion where this outfit becomes its own is the use of accessories the scarf and the hair it's got somewhat of an element of punk to it which offsets the whole 70s look the 70s look I can describe as clean subtle contemporary but just adding these little details just brings it out of that element a little bit and turns it into something completely different thank you for using the hashtag next up we've got those squad outfit goals but I think these two have pulled off the duo combo with the tulip and bucket hat the crop tops the baggy trousers with a little bit of distress in there and of course shoe game on point we've got the Jays and the Balenciagas modern streetwear in a nutshell and I think these girls have definitely pulled off this look seamlessly in my opinion there's a very vintage aesthetic about these outfits but with hits of streetwear influence in there as well I quite like the idea of tulip hats and bucket hats coming back with the combination of a crop top and the baggy jeans it just kind of reminds me of 90s R&B the shoe game as well is very on point I love the jades with the baggy jeans I think it just slaps and of course the Balenciagas on the other outfit just goes to show that this outfit can benefit from a variety of different shoes both sneakers but that's just all part of the aesthetic big man I love how they've kept it more or less simple it's an effortless look a very well executed duo picture thank you for using the sick fits hashtag so moving on to the next outfit we've got that Jaquim's short sleeve shirt, the Balenciaga belt, the Louis Vuitton bracelet and some beige paint splat trousers. So the first thing that I like about this outfit is that it's very simple, subtle but stylish at the same time. The short sleeve button up shirt just fits very nicely into the trousers and of course you've got to have that Balenciaga belt buckle for the flex. Again this is one of those effortless outfits that you can just throw on, it's street ready. It's a very smart look in general, I think shirts are definitely going to be essential for summer 2020. It's tidy, it's tucked in, got a little bit of flex going on and it's stylish. Like I just love the whole painter splat aesthetic. I know I might be a little late with that one but I stand by what I say. The choice of colours in this outfit is immaculate. I just love how it's very easy on the eyes like there's not too much going on at all. In fact it's like ah oh, 
man, that's really nice and aesthetically pleasing to look at. Obviously, that's the fundamentals of making a good outfit in the first place, but I'm just highlighting. All in all, a banging outfit. Thank you for using the hashtag. So for the next outfit, we've got that Born From Pain Sicko t-shirt, a leather jacket, and some Gucci rings. Now, I'm not gonna spend too much time on this one, but I just thought it was a really cool outfit. Of course, we've got the Ian Connor devil face photoshopped into position, which in itself I think is quite creative. But in general, I'm really feeling the vibe of this outfit. I think matching the Born From Pain t-shirt with the leather jacket is a low key sick off combination. When it comes to vintage outfits, surprisingly, I don't really think of leather jackets. So seeing it executed seamlessly in an outfit really gives you an idea of how you can make any piece look good if you just put the right pieces together. I do think that there's definitely an uprising in rock art vintage, somewhat borderline in the Americana type look. And if done correctly, like in this picture, it can pull off a really authentic feel. Thank you for using the hashtag. Sanucci and ASOS accessories, the boohoo long sleeve shirt, the jaded trousers, and of course the J's. And a Louis Vuitton bag, say no more. So the first thing that caught my attention with this outfit was the jaded trousers. Honestly, I think a lot of people are focusing a lot more on their trousers these days like a few years ago people didn't really care too much it was all about the top end of the outfit but now I think trousers are just as important as whatever's going on at the top half here so I really appreciate seeing something a little bit different in the trouser region like not like that fam but my man here pulls it off really really well i like how he's definitely made it the main piece of his outfit like the vocal point the boohoo shirt is just there it's a little bit of a placeholder just to kind of be a shirt for the sake of being a shirt i i don't really know what i'm trying to say but even the top half of the outfit has been utilized we got the white shirt with the louis vuitton bag you can see the strap there so it kind of draws you into the bag like oh boom i see that we've got the accessories as well doing their job you've got the chain there that you notice the chain you notice the hair that that's a sick hairdo by the way, I love that. And of course you've got the rings on the finger, look at them, notice the trousers once again, like, oh yeah, they were the vocal point, weren't they? Madness. And of course, on the bottom end of the outfit, you've got the J's, the Jordan ones, low key looking like the Heineken or Bex collaboration, just adding that little hit of color. Bold choice with the green, but in my personal opinion, you could have probably put any color Jordans on this outfit and it still would have worked. No complaints, a clean streetwear outfit, Thank you for using the hashtag. Vintage McDonald's t-shirt, vintage looking cardigan, Carhartt trousers, and the Adidas superstar. The first thing that I thought of when I saw this outfit was the reincarnation of Kurt Cobain. All you need is a pair of clout goggles and it just completes the look. And personally, I am living for this vintage punk aesthetic. The cardigan with a graphic t-shirt with a little bit of accessory up here. Flawless, it bangs. Tuck that into the belt, into the base trousers. And the special guest appearance of the Adidas Superstar just adds to this outfit as well. Like, I haven't seen a pair of superstars being utilized in an outfit effectively since like 2016. So they've dropped off a little bit, but it's really nice to see someone seamlessly implement it into their outfit. I think it adds to the message as well of, I don't really care what I wear, but at the same time, making that into a look, giving it like a rebellious anti-hype vibe to it, which again, feeds into this whole Kurt Cobain core style. Honestly, this is one of my favorite fits of the day. So thank you for using the hashtag. So next up, we've got that bucket hat, that Hawaiian Aloha button up shirt, some burgundy trousers and the Vans old schools. So the first thing I thought of when I was looking at this outfit was fear and loathing in Las Vegas. He kind of looks like Johnny Depp's character and I really feel it for that. All he needs is like the big massive 70s glasses just to complete the look. This is in fact a banging outfit. I love the bucket hat, short sleeve shirt combination. I love the color palette as well. I just love the whole use of brown, burgundy, and even the light brown and black in the vans as well. It's just a nice tonal outfit going on as well. And the bucket hat just completes it all in a way that gives it that vintage aesthetic. The use of accessories as well, it just bangs. Thank you for using the hashtag. Next up, we have that mock neck or turtleneck tucked into a belt with the wide leg corduroy Tommy Hilfiger trousers and the Doc Martens on foot. First of all, if you've got dreads or braids in your hair, that's an automatic plus five points in any sick fits outfit. Turtleneck layered with accessories. I think I just like hit my own necklace out of pure jealousy. It just adds another layer of anarchy, which I really like. It takes away from the whole cut clean aesthetic and moves it into more personal style. Like, yeah, these are my accessories. Like, what are you gonna do about it? They're sick. I know they're sick. Have you seen the braids? He's carried on the absolute chic 
uniqueness of this outfit by tucking in the mock neck into the trousers made that belt stand out as well with a little accessory hanging off there but wait, there's more. These wide leg Tommy Hilfiger corduroys are my favorite piece in this entire outfit. I just love how they're utilized. They're turned up at the bottom there as well, just to add that little element of style, but it's probably because they look about 10 sizes too big, not gonna lie. But that's the whole beauty of vintage and thrifting. Even if something isn't your size, you make it work, make it look like it's meant to be there. And that's an art form in itself, not to deep it too much, but that's just how I feel about the situation. And of course, just to complete the entire outfit the Doc Martens really round off this outfit nicely. Honestly, a pair of good boots was the only logical choice when it comes to something so chic. I like how my man has used menswear items like the turtleneck and corduroys and the shoes and has really spun them into his own style. My man has done an excellent job here, so thank you for using the hashtag. And last, but certainly not least, we have that oversized boxy blue dress shirt tucked into a pair of black trousers with a little bit of crop to them and some I have no idea what these shoes are. Oh, they're Nike Tempos, I believe. So what I really like about this outfit is that this is this person's own take on contemporary. Contemporary silhouettes can be easy to break down. It's a consistently smart aesthetic, quite tidy as well, like you tuck things in. My man has really taken the contemporary aesthetic and added a little bit of looseness to it, a little casuality. Is that even a word? You can still call it a contemporary outfit, but I just like how he's made it his own a little bit, unbuttoned the shirt a bit, used some accessories, and thrown on a pair of Nikes. It just all works really well together. It's like a dress down contemporary, if any Thing. It's a really simple outfit color wise as well, just bang, blue, black, white. These are the main colors. All together jam packed to make a really consistent outfit. Honestly, this is one that I really like, so thank you for using the hashtag. And that was today's episode of Hashtag Sick Fits. Unlike the regular Sick Fits, this hasn't got a formal entry process. All you have to do is use the hashtag Sick Fits, but it doesn't end there. I check through the hashtags as much as I can, and I always like to pull outfits that I really like and put on the page daily. So it's always worth putting that hashtag in your pictures for a chance to get featured on the page and low key in a video as well. Don't know why I had to do like the Power Rangers stance there, but whatever. Let the people featured know your thoughts on their outfits in the comment section down below. Just shout out your favorites. Just let them know that you're feeling that outfit. I know they'll really appreciate that. And me too, with that YouTube algorithm, everyone wins. Also, let me know if you've got any fashion related questions or you want my thoughts on anything. Let's get some discussions going. Put some Fs in the chat. We haven't said that in a long time in the comment section down below. Of course, if you like this video, then please give it a like. If you dislike this video, then give it a dislike, you snake. If you wanna support me and the channel, then just press the little subscribe button and that bell notification if you wanna get notified when I upload a new video. Summer of sickness coming soon. What did he say? Thank you guys for watching my video. You guys are the best. Bye.